If you're struggling to keep your team on schedule and tracking their time accurately, this video is for you. I'm gonna be talking about Connect Team that's built an incredible mobile first app to take care of all of this for you. So you don't have to message your team members when their shift starts or ends. No more manual time tracking and adding that up for the payroll at the end of the month. So you can focus on what you do best, which is to grow the business. Since I've partnered with Connect Team to make this video, I'm going to go step by step through exactly how the job scheduler works, as well as the time tracker. So by the end of this, you could have the full solution set up and ready to do work for you. And if you have less than 10 employees, your price is free for life. Step number one, go to connectteam.com. As you can see, this is where you manage your entire team in one app. Connect Team is a mobile first employee management app designed to help businesses manage operations with just a single click. It's perfect for non-desk frontline teams. You can run your entire business from scheduling to payroll using one intuitive app. You don't have to be tech savvy and your team doesn't even need an email to get started from happy customers using Connect Team right now. So I'm gonna show you how it works on desktop and then I'm gonna show you how it works on mobile and all you need to do is to click on start now, it's free. Just sign up with your name, email and password and then we're on the inside of Connect Team and this is your dashboard. Now, what we're going to talk about in details right now is the job scheduling feature as well as the time clock. Job scheduling is obviously for putting people in the calendar where they should be, as well as time clock being a tracker of time to see the efficiency of your team. So let's dive into step number two, job scheduling. As you can see, this is the front page where you can actually have multiple different schedules, but I'm gonna go into this job scheduler here. The reason you want something like this is because if you do it manually, you have to text people, email them, and a lot of back and forth to just find the availability. For the company, this causes confusion scheduling errors, and just a headache for the management. Therefore, let's try to use this job scheduler right now. The first thing that you might want to do is to add more users. Here you can add admins or add users. Then all you need to do is to add their first name, last name, and their mobile phone. And in minutes, they are inside the platform and get ready to use like Astrid here and Sergi. And now the second thing you can do is to add a shift. If you just click on this one here that you can see Tuesday, Sergi, I want him to start doing a sponsorship manager job. So the shift title, and then we can select a job. Here I have a shift manager job. We can also edit the jobs here to have more jobs, but I'm gonna leave it on shift manager for now. Here we can also include the location. So if you have multiple locations in your business, you can type, for example, LA location versus the New York location. And then you can also add notes. This is important if there's any really crucial key pieces of information that you want to add. And then we have shift tasks. So if there's any concrete tasks that you want them to do, you can type a task here, like for example, negotiate sponsor deal with X, and you can keep adding more tasks below and they can easily tick that and make sure that it gets done during this shift. So we have the date, the start and end the time. We can choose when this repeats, but now that we're done, we can click on publish and you see that we also have notify relevant users with a customized notification is turned on and this is the notification that they're going to get. Your scheduled shift on Tuesday, Feb 04 was edited confirm and publish, and there you see it here in the schedule. Now, what about if you have a lot of shifts that you need to do, but you don't actually know who is going to be able to take care of that work? Well, all you need to do is to have an unassigned shift in the top here. I can actually move a bunch of them into the unassigned shifts here, and then what we have, which is very special, is real-time distribution. So if you click on auto assign shifts, you can see that they'll do the heavy lifting by automatically assigning users to unassigned shifts based on their availability and qualifications. This is part of another thing they have inside that is qualifications. 
unavailability and limitations based on the users just to make sure that you have the right person in the right slot. We're gonna click on auto assign. It's going to take a couple of seconds and three shifts have been automatically assigned and you can see that they stacked up one, two, three because there were available slots for the entire team. Also, everybody got a notification about this on their phone so there's no missed communication everyone knows what to do, when is the schedule, and potentially what are their tasks for that shift. I'm gonna show you how easy this is to do on your phone as well, but first I wanna show you a couple more features, like for example, the requests. Here somebody might request a shift or ask to change a shift. Here in the jobs tab, you can add more jobs that depends on the role. In the settings tab, you can choose the limitations as well as they can reject shifts, see when people get notified, and even integrate with Zapier and Wix. The customization inside of here is really up to you. On the actions button, you also have copy as previous week, auto assign week, clear week, unpublish, unassigned, and even share the schedule so you can share it across of the entire company in just one single click. I think you're starting to see the power of this now, but what about the mobile app? So now that I showed you on desktop, I wanna show you how easy it is to set up on your phone. So as you can see, I'm now on the app, and if I just click the top right job schedule here, you can see I end up in the job scheduler. This is what your team sees in their app. I can select only me or I can click on everyone and I can even toggle my availability in the app itself. Now, if you are the manager, you can tap on the admin button in the bottom right corner. Then you can click on job scheduling. Then here you can see you can add different shifts. So I'm just gonna click on add shift here. Here shift title, I want to write Pod show doc, select a job, project A, select users, Astrid, select user, location as well. I only have <laughs> the online location, so that's fine. Attachments, I don't have anything for that. We have a process of that. And then I can click on publish shift. Just like that, it's updated in the scheduler. And since I had notifications on, Astrid knows exactly when she has that shift. And this is how your employee sees it. As you can see, they know exactly on what day and time their shift is. And if you click into one of them, you can see their exact time, location, the job, as well as the shift times so they can easily be ticked off during the shift. You can also see the time clock in the bottom of the app that we're gonna talk about in a minute. So now that I've shown you the job scheduler, I wanna show you one more feature, which is the time tracker. As you can see, they make it easy to just click on clock in and the shift starts, but there is a lot more that goes into it. So let's first talk about why time track to begin with. So the problem this solves is that people have inaccurate time entries and it can lead to payroll mistakes. And if they do manual time tracking, it, it can often leave room for errors. I've personally had experiences with time theft and this can help you in that. It checks everybody clocking in, clocking out, total hours, regular overtime and paid time off. In addition, you can even see where people log in if you have multiple locations around the world. Since they also have a mobile app, this makes it extremely easy to do for everyone. So let me show you exactly how it works. So take a look at this here. This is how it looks like once it's set up correctly. And if a user goes in on their phone, all they have to do is to click on time clock. Then this button pops up. It's a start shift button, very easy to click, but you might see that he has his geolocation on and there's a circle around the map. This is something they've set in place that they cannot start the shift unless they are in that specific circle. So that helps a lot if you have a workplace and you need people to clock in at work and not work from home, right? So all you need to do, click on the start, then select a job. So on this case, we're going to pick on labor. And there you go, the clock starts ticking up 
and the shift has started. Pretty simple, right? For the manager in the dashboard, they either have the today or the time sheets button. And here you can see when people clocked in, clocked out total hours and regular hours as well. You even have the location of where they signed in and signed out. They even have the map here as well, where I'm explained this circle where you can see that people actually clocked in in this location. Now, if you click on the time sheets tab in the top, what you're gonna see is a different overview of the exact time that people have been working. This is extremely important once it goes time to do the payroll. This is also where you can go deep into the exact employee. You can go and change their time sheets to make sure that it's correct based on the payroll that's happening later. Once that has been changed, you can click on approve. Then you can click on export where you have payroll totals, timesheet, timesheet PDF, shift report, shift report PDF. You can print out any type of format that you want. And if you have an integration with QuickBooks or anything like that, you can dive into the integrations that has anything from Gusto all the way to zero that makes it seamless to you to actually do the payroll. The additional benefits of this is obviously that you can see that we have scheduled eight hours here while the actual total was 6.75, where you have a difference of 1.25 hours. When that comes to payroll, this is obviously a problem if you have a full-time employee that's not pulling their weight. And to have all of this included in one software, making it so simple, saves you all that headache so you can focus on what's most important for you, which is growing the business itself. So just imagine how good your life would be if you have a good job scheduling tool as well as a good time tracking tool. Well, that is what Connect Team is going to give you. And you can even try it 14 days for free with no credit card needed. This also gives you access to all the communication tools as well as forms, quick tasks, even HR and skills that can take your company to the scale that it deserves. So click the link in the description down below to go to Connect Team and try it for yourself. With Connect Team, you're not just managing schedules and time, you're streamlining operations, reducing errors, and focusing on what truly matters. Hopefully this helped you and this tool is going to be a valuable asset to your life. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.